everyone, I am Shubhi, MSc graduate in Reproductive Biology and Clinical Embryology from Eames New Delhi. Hello everyone, I am Moses, Junior Research Fellow in Department of Reproductive Biology, Eames New Delhi. And I did my Masters from this department. Today we are here to discuss about our course that is MSc Reproductive Biology and Clinical Embryology. We get a lot of questions around this course, around the entrance examination and the prospectus. We thought why not to sit together and acknowledge all those questions. So starting with, lot of the aspirants are interested to know what is this course about and what are the future opportunities after completing this course. This uh, course, MSc, Reproductive Biology and Clinical Embryology, as name suggests, have two components in it. One is the clinical embryology component and the reproductive biology component. Basically, this clinical embryology component uh, where uh, we learn all the ART techniques. We develop skills in this uh, ART techniques like IVF, ICSI, and uh, semen analysis, semen analysis and and technology techniques. Right. So we will be get ready to become an embryologist in this uh, aspect of the course. When it comes to the reproductive biology course, it is the research uh, component of this course where we have people uh, here uh, focus more on the research in the field of reproductive biology. Right. When it, actually, when it comes to the uh, when we say about reproductive biology. First thing comes into our mind is infertility. Apart from that, we have many other uh, research areas in the Reproduct research, right, yeah, right. like pregnancy related uh, problems like preeclampsia and uh, uh, women health problems like uh, PCOS, etc., developmental endometriosis, developmental disorders, molecular cytogenetic disorders. So, there are uh, much about the research component in this. So after completing this course, you can either be an embryologist or you can also further yourself in research. Most of the questions revolve around the AIMS entrance examination. What is the timeline of the form? How yeah. to fill up the form? Yeah. What to study for the examination? How much to study from? Where to study? So starting with the examination form, it was different in Sir's time and it is different in my time. True. Many people get confused about uh, the timelines. Many people will miss when the forms right. are being out, etc. Yeah, right. So it will be good to answer uh, those questions for the upcoming yeah. entry. Yeah. So basically, uh, in uh, my times, it is the registration form is like in one step. But nowadays, the aim has changed uh, their ah, registration yeah. pattern. Nowadays, it is two step mm -hmm. actually. The first step is containing the basic uh, registration where we do do give our basic uh, details like name, uh, qualifications, qualifications etc. And also, we need to upload uh, the photo and signature, etc. Thumbprint also. Thumbprint also. Right. Then uh, the AIMS will uh, give the status of acceptance or rejection based on the documents, etc. They will also give the timeline for correcting window. The form gets accepted, which is the basic uh, form acceptance. Then the second step comes here as a final step, where we choose the center and pay the examination. And the timeline to fill up this form varies every year, yeah. but it is somewhere between December, January to for basic registration, and then after January, it is uh, January to March, yeah. where it is final registration is completed and True. forms are filled. True. So every uh, year for the July session admission, so it is it will be good if aspirant well keeps on looking at the website uh, from January. It is aims .exam and all the important links will be mentioned in the description. Yeah. So now coming to AIMS entrance examination where most of the people are interested to know. In the examination there are 90 questions. Most of the questions revolve around reproductive physiology and minority of the questions is about cell and molecular biology, biochemistry, uh, mole concept, immunology like apoptosis, necrosis, some current affairs, nowadays COVID yeah. and you should also go ahead and read about the Nobel Prize winners, recent and past two to three years Nobel yeah. Prize winners in, and also some what about the history of IQ. So this is majorly in a nutshell about what you need to study for the entrance examination. Anything yeah. else you would like to add? Yeah, when we uh, look at the what books we can read about these yeah. questions yeah. like uh, for reproductive physiology part, if one can read uh, uh, any medical uh, physiology textbook like Guide and right. all etc. the whole reproductive chapters, one can answer uh, the reproductive. I also read that. Yeah, <laughs> I also refer to the same. Guide and all. Uh, one can answer this reproductive biology questions. Majority. Majority. Of the when it comes to the remaining uh, my like uh, remaining questions.
questions uh, that are other subjects of life sciences like basic biochemistry, cell biology and molecular biology. One can read just like they are uh, preparing for other MSc life sciences. Once you are completed with your entrance examination, then a list comes for all those candidates who have qualified. Basically 50 percentile and above are the ones who qualify the examination. And then the top 5 or 6 seats, according to the seats, they are called for the council. Yeah, uh, the present intake of the our department seats is uh, six, and uh, reservation follows according to the government. Some people ask me whether it is an integrated course. Like, if they join MSc, do they have to give entrance examination again for PhD? So it's not an integrated course. It is mentioned on the website as well. If you are completing your MSc from here, you have to give entrance examination for PhD again. Further, we get asked about the dissertation that if someone is pursuing their masters from any other institute, so whether there is a dissertation facility in our department. It is uh, actually uh, does not based on the department, but uh, if anyone are interested in that, they should approach the academic section of AIMS and uh, they will uh, entertain this type of request on case to get this and they will guide what to do. Further, right. The students uh, from outside the AIMS, we department conducts many workshops Workshop. like market pedagogic workshops, etc. The few interested people can register to that whenever the advertisement comes. Yeah, right. So we have workshops in our department which get advertised regularly yeah. and if you are interested you can be a part of that. I think we have covered most of the frequently asked questions and if something is left out we will definitely add that in the description box and if you have anything more you want to ask then do let us know in the comment section or you can also ask us on our social media handles. Thanks for watching our first video and all the best, all the best for your examinations. Bye. Bye.